Go. The rebuilding process at Simple Simons continues. Equipment is being moved, gas lines are being connected, and boxes are still getting unpacked. But owner Susie Teal says much progress has been made since the Riverside restaurant was heavily damaged in a fire in the early morning hours of February 12th. The flames destroyed the kitchen and smoke damaged the dining room. In all, she says, there was approximately $150,000 in equipment damage and about $300,000 worth of damage to the city-owned building. It all had to be all new walls back here. Everything had to be uh, taken down to the studs and, you know, pretty much rebuilt. The um, flooring's been done. Uh, that had to be replaced also. And we're just bringing in some of the heavy equipment. We brought some in last week. Bringing in pretty much the rest of it today. And the plumber's there doing the last of his um, gas hookups. It has been five months since the fire, but Simple Simons is tentatively scheduled to reopen July 26th. Teal can't wait. I'm more excited about being here than I was before the fire. You know, the outpouring from the communities made me feel more like, wow, this is really, you know, a, I'm part of the community. Not that I didn't know that before, but it just makes you feel it more, makes you realize it more. And, um, and I miss it. I miss being here. While she hasn't been helping customers, Teal has been working non-stop throughout the rebuilding process. I had to come in an inventory that took a couple weeks because you're in the dark and you're, you have a headlamp on and you've got a face mask on and gloves because they're soot everywhere and you have to catalog every item that you have so that you can then do all your inventory for insurance purposes. And, that, and after you do that, then you've got to organize it and price it and then eventually reorder it and... That's, and get it in, which is where I am now. She says the cause of the fire is still undetermined. Electrical as opposed to um, possible kitchen towels, um, self-igniting, but there was never a complete final determination because it was so badly burned in that electrical room. Restoring the dining room along with its century-old bricks has been a major undertaking. We have these wonderful booths that we had made, um, handmade solid wood booths. We had to dismantle them and move them away from the wall so they could shoot the brick with like a high-powered thing of dry ice pellets. Several employees have helped Teal with paperwork or with the rebuilding process. When the restaurant reopens, it will have 19 of its original 25 employees. Teal says they're anxious to get back to work and customers can't wait either. For months, they've come by the restaurant only to see this sign in the window. We were just hoping uh, that it was getting close and came by today just to uh, see. People who pass by here on a daily basis have supported the restaurant and I know they as well are looking forward to the reopening. And the calls keep coming in. But we're, we're hoping the 26th. All right. We are doing all right. We're, we're actually doing really good lately because everything's coming together. I think that's, that's the key thing. That's the thing that kept us going. To celebrate Simple Simon's reopening, Teal says she may bring back its coconut meringue triangles, this time with a slightly different twist, and maybe even a new sandwich. Something related to a smoke or phoenix rising or something of that order. So we've been working on that, something like with smoky gouda, perhaps, or, you know, well, we're working on it, though. It'll probably be a surprise. A new start for a restaurant that has been at this location for 14 years. One that some worried may not come back. I can't say that that thought did not cross my mind. You do just kind of go, oh my God, is this worth it? Do I want to do this? But it's, it was pretty fleeting. My husband and myself both pretty much right from the beginning were like, yeah, I mean, there's no way. We're definitely want to rebuild. For PE.com, I'm Julianne Nunn.